this is just the basic one, uh, basic uh, detached body. I'm using a an easy dub micro chenille. This one here, this one's from Vineyard. You know, the easy dub micro chenille, and I've got a tiny bit of winging flash in red at the back, some peacock carol, dyed jungle cock, and some marabou for the the breathers. But this version, I'm just going to change. I'm going to put a small fluorescent green tag. And this is a glow bright floss number 12. Now the hook I'm using is a, a B160 size 12, which is a short shank hook. I mean the shank is equivalent to a size 14, it's a gape is equivalent to a size 12. Now all I'm going to do is put a small tag on with the floss. So basically I'm tying it on and tying it off. Just start it, two or three turns. We come down to basically in line with the barb. Give me a touch of super glue, just lightly onto the floss and then wind on top, which obviously is going to stick it in nice and tight. Now any excess, just remove it with your finger. And then what I'm going to do here is take it up so that I can bring the thread over. Now the thread is just a uni thread, it's an 8 in black. Come over the top of the floss and trim it away plus the waste piece. And then we're ready for our body. Now, you see it's the Easy Dub Micro Chenille. In this case it's black. Now there is different colours. I like to use reds and yellows and some other two or three. Now, it's quite simple. Well, all we have to do is seal the end. And we just basically get a lighter and just lightly at the end. And there we are. That's got a nice point on it. You can have the body quite short, it's up to yourself. Reasonably long. It look, looking at least, probably around about to say the hook length, shank length, it's up to yourself. Uh, you can always trim it back on the water if you want. Two or three turns to get it started. Just a wee tad, too much there, so I'm just going to trim that away. And then, the ringing flash in red. All you need is a single strand. Just pull it out, off it to your thread, and then I moisten my finger and thumb and just take away the excess and then keep something going the one way and you'll see it eventually catches and there we are. And then we can slide this up. It's a nice wee aiming point there. At the same time we're tying in the, the waste piece of the chenille. Now I've got some peacock kettle and, and it's just a basically it's a single strand. Now what I do is hold both ends, there's a thick end and a thin end, and get it in the centre and come round basically so it's an even length either side. Slightly come over it. I'm taking a bit of wax on my thread so I've got plenty of grip. Pull that back. And then we can either wind this down bring the thread and it up and back over the top or to try and keep the hair a wee bit better just a wee touch of super glue there we can then wind over that and that will basically stick it down nice but keep the hair sitting nice give yourself a good millimetre or two to tie in your wing buds which has the jungle cock now you can use you don't have to use jungle cock you can use whatever you like floss could use goose by it, you could two or three, but I'm just going to use this is sunburst dyed jungle cock. Just going to two small eyes, just basically pull back what I don't need. Lem level them up, stroke these fibers back, get them so they're on the side, and then come round with two or three turns. Just to basically hold them, and that this will allow you to actually get them to sit right. Now you're happy, I usually, which I am, come in with a wee bit of wax, draw these back. Nice and tight, and you can break these ends off then. Now, in itself it's quite a good wee midge pooper at that. Uh, adding the breathers on is an option, and some people like them, some don't. Uh, I'm in between, I like them both, so 
But why don't you just bring out a tiny bit of the the light bright, just a couple of strands. There we go. Just rough it up slightly. Now the wing the breathers of the fly can be again it's up to yourself. I like white marabou. Uh, you can use synthetic fibre or something, you could use a yarn or whatever you like to use. But marabou I find is nice. Now a few lens, just bring it out from the stem, now some moisture on my fingers just to control these fibres until I've tied them in. Basically they form like a bow tie, which is how you do that is simply just a single turn on top, bring one side towards you and make it so it's like a like an aeroplane wing and then do like a figure eight through. Just take your time. There's one wee fibre here that's been a nuisance. But what I'm gonna do again, come back in. A wee bit of moisture I'll control it so that you can move these around. And I'm trying to make sure that you see what I'm doing. So we figure eight and then we do it again. Nice and tight. Thread to the front, tidy up that area. So two or three turns. Keep the thread always nice and tight and then you can come in. And what finish. And at the same time, tidy the head off as well. Trim away with thread. Now it's much easier to hold these back and come in with some varnish. And then you can cut them once it's dry or I'll cut them straight away, but just make sure you've got the varnish in there. But don't touch your marabou. You can help it. And then, as you see, you can get wait a minute or so and allow that to, to actually dry. And then come in with your scissors. It's up to yourself what length you would like these. Now, so I can see what I'm doing, I've got it slightly on the side. Straight cut. You can see two sitting. Now I'm going to give it a minute and come back to you and then I'll show you what I do. Now I've give, given the, the varnish a minute or two to dry. And I'm going to basically tap the breathers so it fluffs them out with my finger. And you'll see how you get that natural look. The one that's a wee tad long. Can you see there? You can come in, you can either leave it or you can come in a wee bit fussy, tidy it up. There we are. And that's it. Not sure. Detached bodied midge pupa. Now you can obviously go the stage further, you can make it float, you can have CDC coming over. And that should then lifting it a wee bit higher. And uh, to me it looks nice. Uh, it sits really well, you'd be surprised how well this actually fishes. Uh, you can go in a smaller hook and go the B160 size 14, which I have done. But in this this here is a is a good size. The midge are coming off, and as I say, different colours. You want to try as many different colours as you can. Beige is a nice colour, works for me. Black, brown. Uh, you get your olives as well. They're all worth a worth a go. Any of your fine suede chenilles will do the job. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>